Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Sim World 2 first look video. This is for the Isle of Wight 2022, also known as the Island Line 2022. Uh, now this is another Rivet Games DLC. They originally made the Isle of Wight route, which obviously had the Class 4 route through the X1938 stock. But today we're going to be taking our first look at the Class 484, which is the XD78 stock uh, on the London Underground, sort of the modernised Isle of Wight route. So let's get in, um, literally just loaded up the game, I haven't played this since Spirit of Steam came out uh, on the PC version. Um, one thing I can notice is there's Network Southeast on there, uh, I'm guessing that probably will be, ch this is a pre-release build, I just want to point this out now, I'm guessing that will probably be changed to probably DFT, Department for Transport, or just Island Line. Let's go in, uh, I guess we need to go into the... There you go, let's do it. The Isle of Wight Island Line 2022 introduction. I'm looking forward to it. Awesome, in we go. Here we go, and then hopefully tomorrow, if you're watching, so I'll actually be going to the Isle of Wight. I was supposed to go last Thursday, but it didn't happen in the end. Here we go. Looking forward to it, the changes Welcome to it. To train sim world oh, we're, like, we're up in the air. An immersive and highly detailed rail simulation Cool. Featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. Okay, yeah. Cool. So this has that right and John's. Press E to begin. There we go. Looks good as well. You've just been awarded some action points. So you can see that in the These top are right. Displayed in the top right corner of the screen. Yeah. And count towards your overall. That's a big experience. thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us um, access to show this Besides off early. Trains, there are lots of requirements to navigate on foot. Okay, right, try, try moving, moving around, around now. Uh, okay, follow the... Always oh, lags in the tutorial, it's a bit weird. Up we go. You can hear the buses down there. Cool, I look forward to seeing what changes have been made. You can already see, obviously, the visible changes. You can see the old platform there. And then, sort of, they've obviously had to extend it up um, for the route. Because obviously, these trains are higher up. Right, let's go over here. Oh, the sound, I can already hear it wearing away. Collectible as well. Yes, Dino Toys collected. Look at this. Wow. But not all of them will oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, you got like a key to open it. Here we go, we're getting in. This is the 484, everyone. Let's probably want to get the cab door shut, don't we? Uh, how do we do that? Is there a way to close it? Uh, there we go, awesome, right in we get. Very, very much looking forward to this. Close the cab door, which we've done already. This train is ready to go. There we go. Push the indicated handle backwards to get moving. Love it, that's the guard buzzer. Right, let's go. Oh, to, to one, there we go. <laughs> Now, Rivet have said you can literally press every single button inside the um, inside the cab. Also, we can't assist this the tutorial, so that's let us do it. But yeah, all of these we should be able to click. Wow, that is good. That is that is very good. The sounds are spot on. I think it's been very positive uh, in terms of feedback on this DLC. For roughly 10 miles and runs commuter services. Got a cup of tea as well whilst right we take a look at the 484. This particular train is the BR class 484 electric multiple unit and consists of two cars. Love it. Train Sim World 2 allows you to ride and drive from a selection of camera views. Let's take a look at that. while Brilliant. exploring this train. We're already exploring the camera views. Uh, enter the exterior camera, option number three. Explore. Oh, we've got whistleboard as well. Here we go, ready. Love it. So yeah, these used to run on the London Underground as the 78 stock on the district line. I think district line. Then we get the little sort of so overview of what there is. What else there is to 
Okay. Oh, all right. I thought it was going to do the little cutscene saying you can do that, you can do that, you can do that, you can do that. Okay, well, on to the, I suppose, the class 484 introduction. Let's do it. So we'll do these two introductions, then we'll then do a, a journey or a service. Class 484 introduction. Here we go. Should be a fairly easy train to operate. I mean, if it's like the 483, I mean, that is, like, easy. Here we go. Let's so right, right peer ahead. Welcome to this introduction for the BR class 484. Oh, don't know, toy. Get it. Get it. Let us go. During this introduction, <laughs> was even a beach, but was that collectible as well? Procedures. Starting and stopping the train. Loading That's quite cool. The little uh, grandfather clock there. Right, let's get that. Is the beach ball uh, collectible? I feel like it would be. Oh no, it's not. It's just the. It's there. There's the beach ball. Right. Oh, and ready that you can already see it. We have got automatic doors. Oh yes. There is a slight gap between the um, roof, but then it's pre-release. So that might actually just be like that in real life. Okay. This looks much better. You can see this is all sealed off as well. And this has been um, raised as well, the platform. PIS as well. Uh, and obviously the new water system as well. And I can also see boats and yachts and stuff in the distance, which is nice. A bit more... Oh, and hovercrafts as well. Which you can see over there. Which looks... It just makes it feel more alive. Right, let's get into here. The cab door button needs to be held for a couple of seconds before the cab door... So I guess you sort of put the key in and sort of hold it. There we go. Okay, and then close cab door. Yeah, so most of the buttons in this train you can... Uh, you can do that but oh, you can't do that one though but you can do all of that all of that all of that all of that so yeah rivet have said and this they try to make and you can use almost everything even aws on there we might as well just get on ds did um you can all this as well you can use i mean things we've never been able to use before you can now turn on so i'm just going to turn all these on emergency stop tpws isolation um obviously you can't use the phone because well it's the phone um, all that you can use. So yeah, quite a bit. In, you know, in terms of interaction, there's quite a bit you can do. Of your time will be spent in the driver's seat. This is really good. The master key to unlocked. Okay, train. that's that. There we go. The master key. Destination board and train lights. Oh, we do that on there. Let the passengers know that this service is running and operational. Okay, so some of the controls are Set locked in the tutorial, so. You probably can do some of them, which aren't working on this one. Turn on the train lights. Okay, so set that to Ride St. John's. Uh, do we need to look on the outside, or... Wait, is that over... Where's where's that? Where's that supposed to be showing? Oh, it's on here, is it? Oh, okay, well, we've done it. I'm guessing it might... Might show up on there, maybe? Uh, although, yeah, pre-release build, so... Set the saloon lights to on. Ooh, that was quite good. You could actually see it. Oh, and 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 and. You know what? Actually, no. I'll save it for when we do a service mode, or when we do a service. You'll be very surprised, and I'm very happy to see it. Controls the direction of travel. But we'll get to that in a bit. Applied relative to the driver cabin view. Okay. <laughs> I had my um. Closing buttons on each side yeah. of the cab. Yeah. So you've got. Each button opens, the, closes, oh, they're behind the there. Okay, and then side. where's the other one? I'm guessing over Press there. The door release button for the appropriate platform side. To Ooh, that sounds good. That does sound good. I like it. I like it. Yeah, look at this. It's just it's it's great. Oh, we're not going to ride peer head, so I'm guessing it might actually show up on there. Oh no, that shows up on here. Apologies, no, it does show up. So you're looking there. Oh, okay. Oh, there's Wrights and... Where did it want us? Wrights and John's, wasn't it? Yeah, so you can see that on there. And then on the inside as well. Uh, you should be able to see it on the displays as well, Wrights and John's. Now, I don't think it has smart PIS. It doesn't scroll through all of the stations you're going to be stopping at. Uh, it doesn't have announcements. But it does, well, it does have the basics of where you're going, so... 
Right, let's um, get the doors shut. The throttle Love it. Lead Love it. Is split into two zones. Okay. Throttle and braking. So unlike the four eight three where it's the braking separate. Zone controls the multiple units dynamic brakes. Cool. The throttle zone controls the power supplied to the traction. You've got DRA doors. as well on there. Drive to the next station using the Here we go. So what we'll do after this, we'll take a look at what you get with the DLC and then we'll then do a service mode and also, which I'll probably actually do as a whole separate video but you'll see in a minute stick around for something very very cool off we go is that only 15 miles? oh that was 20 the pier looks better as well because on the original all of this was all rusty and it didn't really look like it, get, it got used a lot uh, but now you can see this track's all shiny and this is sort of all well less shiny <laughs> more sort of rusty and you know disused it looks stunning though love it absolutely love it and then we come in to ride Esplanade you can see the hovercraft over there which is like 30 quid to get a return on the hovercraft no, 15 quid a person here on the hovercraft to go one way. Oh, this is brilliant. Oh, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. It's a new British train. It's, it's great. And the brake's pretty good as well. But yeah, what I was going to say um, is I had my fingers on the down and up arrow keys because the last time I've driven a train like this was on World of Subways 3 um, which is the not this stop but it's very similar right and then open the passenger doors you've sort of got slide over here uh, where is it almost sounds like the whole train just shuts off where's the open one let's go over there love it so you can do a lot on here. Okay. So that's for the mode switch behind panel. I'm guessing that would be something to do with um, the guard and the guard control it, maybe. Got all the fuses here. It doesn't look like you can use the fuses, although if everything's already on, it doesn't really matter. Oh, and there's a stop marker there. I was wondering where it was, because usually it's there. Cool. Right, uh, let's get back in. Close the passenger doors. Liking it, liking it. Right, let's get back in. River have really upped their game um, since, well, losing Cersei was good. But since, um, what was the route beforehand they did? Well, they've just really upped their game in the last couple of DLCs. I mean, for this DLC, I've only really seen positive feedback on it. I haven't seen really any negative feedback on it. Uh, unless I'm not looking in the right places. But yeah, it's been very positive from the community. And you know what the community's like. Sometimes the smallest of things can be bickered about. Which they have been. But I'd say, yeah, it's probably 99% positive for this. So I'm happy for Rivet Games into the tunnel. Are there instrument lights on this? I suppose it probably is, isn't it? Oh, oops. I'm guessing it's probably instrument lights. We'll find it somewhere. Cap light, let's get that on so you guys can see. Is there instrument lights? I'm pressing I. It's got to be instrument lights. I will find it. That's a spotlight one. Instrument lights. Where are the instrument lights? Surely it has instrument lights. Oh, there we go. There you go. Even that looks cool. Look at that. Brilliant. So, yeah. Um, if you are an owner of the existing Isle of Wight route, this is completely separate. So, if you don't have the Isle of Wight, you don't need to get the old one to be able to get this DLC. It's a completely new... It's literally a completely separate route. It has nothing to do with the old Isle of Wight route. So £15 you get the route and the train.
they're completely separate so I don't think you need to get the old Isle of Wight to get this one completely separate and this will be coming out on PC Xbox PlayStation uh, and Epic Games so all TSW platforms love that love the little horn and the whistle cool the semaphores feel so high up when you're in the uh, in the 483 they're like really high up towering above you that's what they had to do because the 483s went out of service in I want to say January 2021 uh, and then like this line was shut for about six months or so whilst they made the improvements for the 484 so as you can see you can see the original platform there and then they sort of put the little thing on top to raise it up because these trains are much higher Good, really good. And here we are. This is Ride St. John's. Look at that. Unlock the doors. I'll cheat a little bit and just press Y there. A lot of fun is going to be had with this. I'm so tempted to do a, like a full six hours on it. Because I think that is at the shift time of an Isle of Wight driver. <laughs> it's tempting. Let me get the doors shut. And that is the tutorial, I think. Uh, let's set that to that. Set the reverse to off. Uh, that would be that way. And set train lights to off, which are up there. What are we doing next? Set the headlights to off. The headlights are up here. That's quite cool, the way it comes it up on there. That is the basics. The basics covered. covered. There we go. A manual can also be obtained that explains the full functionality manual and features will be found on the Steam store page. And if you just scroll down to the link sections. Is fitted with TPWS beacons along the route. Yeah. More information. So your AWS alarm TPWS stuff like that. AWS can be found in the manual. Okay. Brilliant. Well, let's see what you also get with the route. So back to the menu so with the route you get the two training tutorials which we've just done so the Isle of Wight introduction and the class 484 introduction uh, you also get 56 services which doesn't sound like a lot does it 56 but um, I think on the Isle of Wight at the moment is an hourly service so it's it's off a real timetable so realism is key and well it's realistic so uh, no worries with that so 56 services and you've got to remember it's only a single line um so yeah you can see the first one's at 5 30 um and the last one's at 23 30. um and yeah it is unbranded as well there's no southwestern railway although creators club i'm sure some people will be able to make the delivery um but they have got the Dep department for transport on there um, as I think they sort of like, yep, yeah, you can do it, but then Southwestern, I, I think they're still trying to chase up and try and get that sorted. So for now, it's uh, the DFT. And then for scenarios, uh, you get five scenarios, Braiding Rescue, Fear the Storm, Sea Transport Service, Blow Me Away and Finish the Isle. And all fairly long as well, sort of above half an hour to an hour. So fairly good selection there. But yeah, that is what you get with the pack. So I suppose we should get on and do a service. Right, there we go. We're now at Ride Paired. We've just loaded into the... Uh, well, we loaded in 640 and at Ride Paired. I thought we'd have a little sort of look round first before we get straight to the driving. So here's the train coming in here. But yeah, you can see we've got the new collectible here, the Isle of Wight poster, which I think actually shows need. I think it's called Needles. I think that's what that is there. You can sort of see all the things sticking out the ground um, there. Here's the PIS working. Um, so it's an hourly service, but that's realistic. So I think realism is key to bringing sort of the best experience. So I don't mind uh, it being an hourly service. I mean, I mean it's realistic. So there's nothing really to complain about. I mean, maybe in future when the new timetable does come out in real life, uh, which I think trains will be every half an hour again. Maybe they'll update it. But um, yeah, an hourly service is fine. Everyone seems to be going to the mainland. Or maybe they're going to the cafe here, maybe. But yeah, this is... 
right up ahead. It's beautiful, isn't it? You can see the hovercraft over there as well. Right. Let's get to the train. Which, as I mentioned, it is a sort of fictional livery. Although, it actually suits it really, really nicely. Like, when you look at this livery, it, it just suits it. <laughs> it suits it. Although, Creators Club, I'm sure someone will make a Southwestern Railway livery. So, just keep an eye out for that if you don't want the fictional livery. Although, personally, I think it looks really nice and does, um, does suit it quite a lot. Sort of gives that sort of, yeah, island vibe off. Right, let's uh, get into this end as the uh, AI didn't shut it down on the last one I did. So, I did load in beforehand and yeah, the AI, AI hadn't, yeah, they had it in reverse. AI, come on, you can't bloody drive from this cab. You just No, you can't do that. And then we'll lock that as well. Now, something I really do want to show you is if I can get this door shut. There we go is if we then go into the passenger area is big round of big drum roll something very 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 exciting and we've only got two minutes and we need to go so let's be quick we have oh I know what I need to do um we might need to um yeah put the key in no Hold on, was there another one? <laughs> um, there, there we go. You can use every single button on the guard panel. Guards, open, doors. So if you put that in, we, th we can then control the train from this panel. So doors open. Right. Although we might need to actually go up to the front first and sort of activate the train. So let's do that first, then we'll come back to this. But yeah, very, very cool to see. Um, that we now have a fully working guards panel. Yes, I think I should really get the train set up first. <laughs> right, let's... Um, yes. Cute. Let's, uh, head, let's head to the front. Uh, and then we'll get in to here, cab door, uh, close that. Right, we want the, uh, it's, yeah, it's already on, isn't it? Southern lights, get that one. Um, yeah, let's take over the service. Master key unlocked, we'll set that to neutral. Uh, and then we'll come up to here, AWS, DSD, pretty much everything is the wrong way we'll put on. There we go. And that's the AWS on here. Um, okay, I feel like the auxiliary is not on. Yeah, it's not on, is it? Hold on. I feel like it's... There, there you go, it's on now. There we go, that's, that's how it should be. Right, let's get the doors unlocked. Which I think I've just closed them. <laughs> Uh, doors open left. There we go. Yeah, it seems to all be as it should now. So yeah, make sure to put the auxiliary set. It seems the AI does switch it sort of all off. Hence why the guard panel didn't do its thing. Uh, the doors are open. Let me quickly close them maybe and then... This is pre-release, yeah. I think it's when they're closed it's... I don't know. But yeah, uh, let's go back to the guard panel, which was... I don't know, it seems, seems alright now. Okay. Um, guard panel, guard panel, guard panel. Which I will do a completely separate video looking at this, as it's just cool. Um, guards panel key. Get that down. So let's put that in. Which just means the, the drive... Actually, let's test it. If I press doors close here... Will the guard store close? No, there you go. This one's open. So you can actually now be the guard. Um, and the AI won't be able to go until you, you know, let the... So let's um, get R1 shut. There you go, R1's closing. And then what we'll do is, well, the key's already out. Guard buzzer quickly quickly do that and then hop to the front 
There we go, and off we go. We'll ride Esplanade next. And also, what I'm going to do is I am going to turn off the uh, markers which are on, as I don't need them on. Now, where would I find that objective marker? Where are you? I don't need you on, and I don't need you on. Uh, I don't really. I'll keep you on. Right. Let's do it. Let's set that to forward. And let's get going. Our first line run in the um, uh, safety system isolated. Uh, shouldn't be isolated. All of them are cut in. Uh, yeah, all of them are set to cut in. I'll set that maybe to normal. Oh, there we go. Right, that's all working. Cool. Right, let's uh, get that up. We are heading to Shanklin. I'll keep the hard on. I don't. I do know this route like this, but I'll keep it on. It's a first look, so let's back that up. That's uh, it's sounding very, very good. And another thing, which might actually be easier to do it in the rain. At Ride Esplanade, uh, at Ride Esplanade, I may insert a clip of the another cool thing, uh, which is very new to this DLC if I don't get it on this journey so you may you may or might you may you may or may not see a clip in a second there we go it sounds really good the track joint sounds such a just chilled out route though some of those routes you could just fall asleep so it's it's just so relaxing. Whoa, that was a bit funny on the brakes there. And come to a stop. There you go. And then we come over to here. Oh, I should have just press you. There we go. Here, this is Ride Esplanade. Look at that. Now that is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Let's get a screenshot. All the sounds just sound really good. Cool. Shall we use the guard panel? Let's use the guard panel. Um, we are going to be late on this train, but we are having fun so right let's uh we might actually have to deactivate the other one put that in guard panel comes down um doors close there you go sorry people you're not getting on anymore that's it that's it thank you and guard's still closed as well there we go. And then you do the buzzer to the driver. Put that up. And then we do the buzzer back. Which is also the B key, which is great. Right, and then off we go. Loving it. Very, very much liking it. Right, let's try and get a shot of what I want to get a shot of. You might have seen in a clip, but just keep an eye out. Keep an eye out, keep an eye out, keep an eye out at the third rail shoes. There, you see it? You see that? And hear it as well? Let's try and look. That's it, getting lit. We have got... We've got sparks. Third rail arcing is now a thing in Train Sim World. Welcome to the future. That was the other thing, so you probably didn't see the clip at Ride Esplanade because I did it then. But yeah, we now have sparks. When you uh, change um, between third row. I'm very, very impressed with this DLC. I think this could be Rivet Games' best DLC. Um, yeah, they, they have made tremendous improvements uh, ever since the first DLC, which was the Rosa line. 
So yeah, hats off to it. No, the first ever DLC was the Isle of Wight, the old Isle of Wight. But yeah, tremendous improvements. So rivet, give yourself a pat on the back. <laughs> and they've literally got everything. Like, it's, I don't know, it's great. You've got that, which is actually set to the B key. You've got the PIS. You've got the third rail arcing, which is completely new. You've got the guard panel, which we've never seen a fully working guard panel before on TSW, which you could actually run. You could literally, you could, you can now be the guard on the 484. And there's no sort of, you know, try and guess when the AI closes the doors. Y y you close the doors. You decide when, when they close. Because the AI can't leave until you um, say, it, say it, Cam. Yeah, so most of the buttons you can use, it does seem there are, you can't use the hazard warning indicator. But yeah, a fair bit you can, um, you can use. Pretty much from all the fuses you can use, pretty much. This is Ride St. John's. Here we are. But no, I'm, I'm very impressed. I just don't see how people can complain about this DLC. I'm sure there's going to be something very minor. And here we are. Do the doors. But yeah, there will be a separate video where I will, well, guard a service just sort of to show off the way you can now do that. It's it, it does bring a smile to your face. Of just how good it is. Now, I suppose at some point we might see smart PIS where it sort of scrolls through what stations we're going to be stopping at, and also that's how you get through there. If you don't click that button, it, it won't budge. I probably shouldn't be clicking all these buttons as it might might make this and I can't drive. <laughs> Door shut. Isle of Wight Steam Railway, experience the Isle of Wight. Um, you got a route map there as well, which uh, which looks good. Oh, you've, that's quite cool as well. You've even got a um, look at that. You've even got a Lucy and Cersei um, ad as well. Now that's me doing it. Obviously, two from the two from the guard, and then two back from the driver. That would be something cool to see. Rivet, if you're watching, can we try and see that in the next one? <laughs> Does Rivet do like add in the sort of unique things? And sort of just new things? I mean, yeah, sparking, guard panel. Now, it would be really, really cool if you could actually hear the buzzer from the guard. That's the challenge, Rivet. <laughs> Let's watch some more sparking. Oh, there you go, there's a bit of sparking. You can hear it just going back. I love that, I love it. Although I must say, that is only going to be on next gen consoles and PC. And the reason for that simply just is performance. I believe. Look how fast that accelerates. Bloody hell. Really, really, really good. There, yeah, you can hear the third row when it then comes into contact with the um, rails. Even if it doesn't spark, you can still hear it. I think that really should be a standard going forward for all DLCs, um, Dovetail, Rivet, Skyhurt, Just Trains, a working guard panel. As then, you don't really need a guard mode because, well, there'd be the guard panel working. So, you can see the changes here to Small Brook Junction, you can see you've got the platform heightener on there, the little extension, which is quite cool to see. But yeah. I think with future DLC, a guard, a fully working integrated guard panel should be the standard. 
I bet that PIS is now, that's sort of the standard for all routes. Yeah, I will be doing plenty of other videos on this, uh, tutorials, etc. Um, as even, even I was just like, hang on, why are we not going at Ride Pier Head? And yeah, obviously the auxiliary um, it needs to be set. It's like the AI turned it off for some reason. I mean, there's <laughs> a couple of inflatables down there. Uh, let's fly up as well. Actually, I don't think I can't let us up too high, but yeah, if you compare this to the old Isle of Wight, the scenery goes on for much further. Because on the old one, it probably would have literally just gone to there, and then the rest would have just been like, well, flat and nothing there. Well, there, there would be no trees. Um, so the scenery has been, um, you know, it's further in the distance now. Once we get to braiding on the Isle of Wight, on the old one, there's a really good example of just it looking quite sort of, uh, what's the word for it, um, quite blank, um, but yeah, we'll see once we get there, and also something else to show braiding, which again is just amazing, that, that sort of little extra bit of detail, that's, that's the next surprise, the surprise has been the guard panel, the sparks, and then the next one will be coming up. Sounds just great though, and I believe they did actually go out and uh, record this themselves on the Isle of Wight. So don't say, "Hang on, why are the sounds wrong?" They they went out and recorded them from the full rate four. That comes down to fifteen. And I suppose that's also another surprise in itself at breeding. There's sort of two surprises if you if you're used to the old Isle of Wight route. I know I keep saying it's amazing, but it is. Cool. Yeah, the scenery stretches much further in the distance now. As yeah, on the old Isle of Wight, those trees wouldn't have been there. It would have literally just been a field, and then it would have just gone on, 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 until the, you know, the eye can see. Absolutely loving it though. So massive thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us the key to show it. Um, it's uh, yeah, it is great. Right, let's pop that down. A bit faster than that. I know there is a couple of signals on here. They've had to um, build themselves as that sort of new, I don't know, technical new assets, the signals and stuff. A sort of couple of unique ones to the um, to this route. I think one of them back there was one. Oh, there is another train there. Okay, so there is two running on the line. I thought there might have just been one going backwards and forth. But no, there is two running. Unless that one's just sat there. But no, I think that would be running as well. So it's going to be at Shank, then you get a bit of a break then. But yeah, this is the other surprise. Braiding has now got two platforms. Because before it only had, um, well, the one on the right where the other train's just come from. Isn't it just amazing though? <laughs> and I've said it, I'm saying it again, but it is. Oh, this is braiding. Where's the stop marker? Stop marker, stop marker, stop marker, stop marker. Where are you? Show yourself. There we go. Here we are. And we're going to get out here and I'm going to show you another surprise. There's PIs. Um, that's not the surprise. The surprise is... 
could probably, if you've seen the, uh, the developer stuff, you probably already know what it is. Here we go, remember before it was just some sort of bland, you know, you couldn't do much to it. Ready? Oh yes. You can actually go inside a signal box. That's a collectible, is it? Oh, that's not a collectible. You know, little cut there with it games. Look at this. I mean, it's just... It's, um... I don't know, it's just amazing. It is incredible. Um, so yeah, this is an original layout of Braiding Station, obviously under Southern Railway. It used to be quite a big place, actually, because there used to be another line going off as well. Uh, you can see you have the little um, yards behind here as well. You can see the old sort of... Uh, yeah, the telephone there. I mean, look at this. I mean, they didn't have to do it, did they? But they did. Oh, and there's also a dino toy there as well. It's just great. <laughs> it's really, really good. It would be quite cool if you could um, move a couple of these. Maybe you can, actually. I don't know. But yeah, it's, it's great. And all of them are detailed as well. Look at that. Up distance, up home, up starting, down main. They are all... It's all here. All here. It's um, it's great. Really, really good. But anyway, let's get back to the train. But yeah, you can't say that's not amazing. Let's uh, let's get back to the four eight four. Oh, and you've got the blue signs as well. This station was opened on twenty third of August, eighteen sixty four. Now we know. Right, let's um. Oh yeah, that's probably why. <laughs> still hasn't opened because we've still got the um no I don't want to do that as we um we've still got this um there you go like that now that should open well should close open a bit of both right, let's get back um cab door close uh lock the doors and the next station stop is Sandown Let's go. We are off. Cool. Yeah, th this is... It's... Uh, I think, yeah, by far probably the best Revit DLC there's been. They've done the original one of the which was this one's better than the original one because, well, that's literally the whole point of it. <laughs> um, the... It's better than the Eros line, I think, by quite a long stretch. Losing Cersei is the best one they've done. Which is good, because it shows they are improving. As I know, Rivet were criticised quite a bit for quite a few of the earlier DLCs. Um, but, yeah, I don't think there can be any criticism for this. And if there is, it's probably complaining about the smallest thing, the tree colours in wrong or something, or the trees in the wrong place. I wonder if you've also got the secret fishing lake still. Which was off here somewhere. I think you do. Oh, do you? Maybe not. Or do we? Possibly not. Maybe not. Maybe not. There was a fishing lake off here you could go down to. Well, it looks like maybe in this version it's not there. Which is alright. Shall we try and get to a place where the sparks will probably show again? Once we get up to sand down, I'll hop out to an external camera and we'll see these sparks. Oh, there's DSD. I think it's really hard to sort of say which Art of White version I prefer now. Because, I mean, this is absolutely mind blowing. Um. It's, it's it's tough. Well, I think this one might be edging more to what I prefer. Just because of all the new sort of fancy stuff and features and stuff. And the guard panel is just... I don't, it's brilliant. And if it rains... Um, yeah, if it's raining, you'll see the sparks more. As it, 
as you do realistically. So we probably haven't picked the best weather for seeing sparks. I press H there for the horn for some reason. That comes down to 15. I'm going to try and get some sparkage action. Um, uh, no, I think it, it goes all the way, doesn't it? Or does it? Okay, maybe not. Now we might have to get some spark action from this. Hold on. Possibly. Nah, it's not the best place. It's better in the rain. I mean, if you if you live near, if you've ever been on third run, you've seen it in the rain. Literally, when the train goes goes away from the station, you just hear the bang, 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 of all the sparks going off. It's quite fun to look at. Keeping an eye out. This is Sandown, which again you can see the original platform and how it's been, um, the height's been changed. So to stop there, come to a stop. So that guard door should open now. As we um, turned off the key for it. Yeah, it's open now. I don't want to see any complaint comments in the I don't want to see any comments complaining about this. I know there's gonna be one or something. But I mean, how can you complain about this? And yes, if you're worried about the branding, you're like, oh my god, it's not the real livery, what we're going to do, it's the end of the world. Creators Club is there for a reason. <laughs> and I'm also sure there'll be some unbranded South Western Railway liveries as well, let me just say that. <laughs> right, let's get going. It is Lake next. So I wonder how long it is at Shankland you get a break then. I mean, if it's an hourly service. Oh. 7.21. Oh, okay. Pre-release build, hearing that noise there. Oh, I heard sparks. I could, yeah, there, there they go. You can see sparkage. See sparks happening. Spark it all up. Oh, a bit of interior action as well. Hammer off. Acceleration on is mad. Look at that. Maybe we shouldn't put it into max throw, though it is quite fun. Sparks again. So yeah, that should now be standard, I think. I mean, I know I'm saying it, but... I think that should now be also standard on every third rover that we see. Um, and even, I suppose, overhead wires as well, because they spark as well. But, I mean, if it can be done on here, I'm sure it can be done on other routes as well. Now, have they sorted the thing where Lake Station renders in very late? They have. It's now fine. Because Lake Station used to render in really late. Um, like, you'd literally get to here and then it would render in. But now you can see it fine. So, that's also been changed. It feels weird seeing Lake Station heightened. <laughs> or raised. Yeah, so on service mode, it's um, you get two car trains. Oh, that would do. Um, well, I think in a couple of scenarios, you do do a four car one. Although, well, realistically, it is more two car. I think it's only summer peak services, they can be four cars long. Although, yeah, realism, two cars mostly. 
timetable realistic. I prefer realism over some sort of made up timetable. So. Shanklin. Hang on. Horn. Uh oh. Is it pre release build? It's gonna be quite a noisy train, I think. No, not that. Yeah. It's done that bug where when you do the horn, the sound sort of stays where it is. Um, I've also noticed that on Sandpat's grade before. It can do that. Although pre release. Yeah, we've lost the horn. The horn is back at lake. We're off. Yeah, plenty of videos on the 484, so keep an eye out, tutorials, stuff like that. There'll be more coming. We've still got our whistle, though. Poor horn. Oh, I can hear the brake sound. inflatables everywhere. So we're really close to the beach at the moment. Really close. There's another inflatable. I wonder if they are collectibles. God, no, 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 not full service. <laughs> the brakes actually aren't as good as... I wouldn't say they're as good as the 483. Although, I mean, this train is, like, a, a sort of bigger, isn't it? So, so you have to be a bit... Oh, hello. Welcome to Shank, then. You've got, like, a whole sign as well. That's cool. And you haven't just got the sand sort of buffer, you've actually got a buffer. I can see another dino toy over there as well. There we go, welcome to Shanklin everyone. So how long of a break do you get here then? The next one out is 7.15, so yeah, not much of a break. There yeah, you can see the um, scenery, it goes much further, I mean it goes literally all the way to those hills over there. Uh, whereas before it probably would have gone to like literally just behind the station. So that is uh, very good. You can see the hills in the distance as well. Uh, you can see most of sort of Shanklin, I mean most of it, or near enough. So that's very good as well. Uh, I wonder if you can actually go outside the station. I've got a feeling you might be able to um, have a little wander outside. As the camera sort of let me go quite a bit out there. Let's go and have a little a little look. The train will probably go off in a sec. Ah, okay, maybe not. But yeah, um, that is the class 484. What does everyone think? Uh, do pop your thoughts in the comments below. Personally, I'm just amazed. Uh, I mean, just the way it is, it's it's great. It's really, really good. Uh, another Rivet Games DLC, and this one is out the park. It is way better than the other ones. It is brilliant. So yeah, hats off to Rivet Games. They've done a brilliant job with that. Big thanks to Delvisel Games for giving us the key to show this off and obviously having it early as well. What does everyone think? Pop your thoughts in the comments below. But that is the class 484 on the Isle of Wight 2022. £14.99 on Steam, Epic, PlayStation and Xbox. And it, remember it is completely, completely separate to the old Isle of Wight. So you don't need, just don't think about the old Isle of Wight. This is completely separate. £15, train, route, completely separate. But yeah, thanks all for coming in. Links can be found in the description to the Discord, to the PayPal, and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. But let's look at the train. And actually, it looks like it's about to leave as well. But thanks all for coming in, and I hopefully we'll see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.